Kyler, as the morning begins to approach in Nautis once again, and the sun outside just begins to crest over the horizon and cascade along the province of Nautis. After the previous night's exertions, you're finally able to get what feels like a good night's sleep, but approaching the dawn, you find yourself once again in a dream. You're walking through a dimly lit corridor, your dark visions filling in all the gaps, the light of dawn just coming through window slits carefully constructed into the sides of a wide hallway. Even though you make no effort to be quiet in your movements, instinctually it's hard not to. After so many years of hiding, old habits die hard. Finally, the hallway terminates into a large stone chamber that seems to be mildly disused. A thin layer of dust lines the edges of each corner, and the far echoes of birds beginning to chirp, the only signs of life in the area. Smooth inlaid marble floors of what appear to be a meticulous dwarven-inspired design stretch out before you, and that same dawn light from before now creeps in through windows that seem to have been left open. Faded, but regal-looking drapes billowing softly in the morning breeze. You walk further along the side of the room, slowly, carefully, your eyes drawn to engravings along the wall, many in common, some in elven, some in dwarven, and others bearing a runic script that you vaguely recognize as the language of the Bjorning. Hagvirtag. Finally, coming to the center and far side of the room, you look up at a life-sized statue of a human figure upon a podium that observes the entirety of the space in a steady, uh, calm gaze. Um, Clad morning. in plate mail with a flowing cape that cascades down the shoulders, uh, yeah. each um, hand grasps yeah. a greatsword pointed down and into the podium upon which it stands, the stone sentinel remains Stop in that. eternal vigil over the room. Was Carefully and gently, your hand brushes aside the dust that is settled along a carved well, plaque. A Inlaid into stone bears the telltale marks of wear well, of the so? same <laughs> such touch being I made along the words many uh, a bet. Many yeah. times Off before. and on. It reads in common. Uh, thank you for a resolute warrior, last night. a loyal lord, I had a and a loving father. Wasn't here, you'd want May he ever be remembered with pride and honor. The yeah. oath fulfilled. Arnolf Earnhardt, Lord of Gielan, 8328. <laughs> Should be back in town. Just today. beside a smaller plinth laid lengthways Sent and directly ahead. beside the statue Apparently there was, a bit of was another inscription with imports, and he had to go take seemingly care of made after the one had before. To go hearing and everything. Daughter of the oh. ocean, right. oh. warrior of the deep, and mother well, to all, then. all right. I will always love you, mother. Um, Raylan Earnhardt. I you try to read the date, but can't. Footsteps break um, you from your focus. Quick and short footfalls behind you. You turn to face them. Two small figures. Children. Running. Laughing. Moving to greet you. Their smiling yeah. faces are familiar. Small, youthful features. Smiling and carefree. You embrace them both in a hug, running white hair through your fingers and returning their smile. Now, but I'll have to do. Finally, a quiet <laughs> swish fine. draws your gaze upwards and across the room, a statuesque figure stands, clad in a well-fitting spider silk dress, befit for a noble lady of a noble station, long white hair cascading knock, knock. down one shoulder, 
contrasting oh. the violet skin so beneath the door. and atop the brow rests a thin circlet befitting her station. She smiles, a familiar smile that seems yeah. so far away from Could war, from, some wine if you want it. from struggle, oh. and from a life before. And the dream fades. I have to have a bit of a meeting. So you take that up to the upstairs outside if you would. Okay. I gotta get to work, so go find Bezrin. Right. Have a <sighs> so the information you needed. I assume you didn't disappoint? No. No, I did not. <coughs> Sharik? There are a couple of things that would probably be of importance. <laughs> Some things you may not be too happy to hear about, but you need to know on the last. As I expected. Sorry I for not being around last night. Um. You want to go I get something to eat? Agent sure. Make their way to the necessary location. Mm. It was not difficult, but I think the individual that you're worried about is involved in a lot more than you realize. It's good to see she's alright. Who? Oh. Torty. No way in hell my father. Oh, were you not with your father? No. I was nursing an injury last night. I actually went to bed quite early. Oh. Hmm. I, only well, heard... I guess we both don't know much. I only heard glimpses as Alan was getting Are you all right? Tizian was getting ready. I'm okay. Good. Egg on? Yes. Keeping watch? No. Going to need to sit down with you and Vesrin today at some <coughs> point, if he's around. He's been out the last couple of days. Hopefully he'll be back. He needs to come back. I'll bring that up to him next time we see him There's a big woman. Uh, goes by the name of Lady Holler. She's the, um... Uh, the fiery redheaded one? The Carter's Guild. Yeah, the intelligence. Yeah, yeah, she is a great fighter. She's got a, a shield, yeah, she's got an axe, she's there, got a yeah. sword. I think yeah, the dogs are, the dogs are killing. <laughs> the dogs are yeah. killing today. Boring. <laughs> As the usual. Interesting. I see, I see. Well, yeah, that's what the um, book is. Holds more it? interesting stuff like that. <coughs> Yeah. Uh, cool stories in it. He's never here when I want him. Apparently, that's the origin yeah. of Who? the Hitchhiker's family. And Bold fuck. Ah, go bomb. Germ bomb. To... No. Oh, what, why do you look so sad? 
Weird dreams, I guess. Bad dream? Yeah. Oh! I was joking. You know, bad dreams are for children. Are they? <laughs> That's what I've been told. Mm. I'm having a few weird dreams lately. Oh, fuck it. You wanna talk about it? Not much to say, just... I think it's just my mind working through things, you know, subconsciously. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm curious if you ever want to speak about them. <laughs> Dreams are something that I'm fond of. Can't really explain them. Well, I need to. <laughs> Do you feel like going for a jog? Oh, fuck me with you people and you're running around. I can accompany you, yes, no. but don't expect me to go fast. <laughs> That's fine. I was, I was like, wow, he's gonna get it. It's just a part of your teaching. It is. I s strap weights to my legs and then jog. <clears throat> because that's totally going to help with what you need help with, right? <sighs> it's general fitness, I suppose. Mm. You're quite fit as it is. There's got to be some other meaning. Which I'm sure there is that I don't understand, so I'll keep my opinions to myself. Yeah, I don't know. I think it might be a discipline thing. <laughs> now that's fucking annoying. <sighs> I can't imagine what it's like being disciplined by a creature younger <coughs> than you. Far younger. You've been disciplined by the guards before, no? <laughs> you catch my bluff then. It's not disciplining me, I think it's installing discipline in me. Mm. If that makes sense. I'm not doing anything wrong, it's to establish things. Hmm. I will try to be open-minded. <clears throat> it's a learning experience, that's for sure. Hmm. Plus, if it means I get strong enough to carry someone who's dying out of where they need to be, I won't complain. <clears throat> Anything to make me better. Right. <sighs> if that's even possible. I have Go to on. Be. <sighs> Fuck. <sighs> the director. When last we spoke, you ran off to go, uh, handle something. I hope that went okay. We will speak about that. Right. Shit's fucked. <clears throat> like, more than usual? Um... Current threats are not our main priority anymore. <laughs> and the thing I'm scared about is not the threat, but convincing everyone that that's the Could have joined us. It's I had to go handle something. Someone. Leave me alone. Something. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah. One day he's fighting your father <clears throat> next to the sea, and now he's worried about you. He's always been worried about me. It's just something, something, honor, something, something. Hmm. Human things. Tazim explained to me the importance of the duel, and I, I think I get most of it. I just—it's hard to 
you know, leave shit, I guess. <clears throat> So, potential threats on the horizon? Is that what we're worrying about now? Um. Do you remember what the matron said? Mm hmm. They are um, currently looking for something. Well, they're looking for what the elves are looking for, and, and uh, I might have found out what that is. Oh. The matron she sent me to eavesdrop on high elven correspondence. Successfully, I did so, and <coughs> I passed that information back to her. And I also stopped said information from getting to the elves. I see. <sighs> then you can also see why this is a problem. <clears throat> what are they looking for? Because I might have just indirectly fucking helped her yeah. continue to push the agenda. What do you think she's getting you to do? Of course that's but what she's to. doing. I know, but fuck. You have to earn her trust. I expected more from this. No. I just, I don't know what to do. I know she'll come for me again. She's going to continue to use me. I have no fucking leverage here. Yep. And I can't fucking <clears throat> find the Imperial who has a fucking firing squad under his rule. That is an advantage. If I could get him to use those guns when I ask, she won't <clears throat> be a problem anymore. Well, there's also Strider. If we can convince him to get involved, he would butcher them. See, and that is the safer route which I would need help with. Yeah. The Imperial, I can do it by myself, but the robot, he is the automaton. He is feral. I well, don't... We wouldn't be able to get close to him. No. That is a problem. I need to have control of this situation. Or it's hmm. not going to go right. But I'm also hesitant to get Vesran involved. That's fair, honestly. But if, if I could convince him to set up a meeting with his uncle, maybe we could get somewhere with that. Mm. I could get a one-up on her, but I don't know. I just... I think that's <laughs> playing with fire. That's an escalation of force. They'd want to send more elves into here too, and then adding more fuel to the fire. What to do with this information I have then? question well do we know what she's looking for and if you can find it before her then you have leverage over her ah it's too late they are already there <sighs> or they are already on the way to looking for it I don't think they know where it is exactly if you can find out where it is before so they do I can sit down with your father well, he was talking with That's noses when we left <laughs> I'm sure he'll have something to say a plan he usually does But it's, it's the same, Kyler, it's the same as Ireland. It's, <coughs> fucking portals. It's, like it's, it, it's a location. They're looking for a lost city. <sighs> Great. Nith Memelarian or some shit, I can't remember. <coughs> Doesn't ring any elven. bells. But why? Why would an elven city be in Radia? That means it has to have come from the first age, when elves walked. Well, if it's ancient and no one's found it, then that would be the time, I suppose. I hope he'll know what to do. Yeah. Right now, I have no fucking clue. Usually has some sort of an idea. Oh, fuck. I am never doing this with you again. <laughs> oh. Try it with weights. 
I'm fucking sweating. <laughs> no, I don't think I will. That's all you. <sighs> Eventually, I'll be able to run that with weights. And be fine afterwards. That's the plan, at least. <laughs> <clears throat> well, now we need to eat. We just burned, like, so much energy. Yeah. Oh, my God. So yeah, you feel your heart still racing in your chest after the morning run. Kyler stripping off the weights and stretching out his life frame. After explaining these things, as you both try to calm down from the run, his eyes seem more steady than ever. He seems more focused than ever, even despite the run. It's not his conditioning. You see somewhere past the eyes that you've known for a number of years now, after laying the details of all these chaotic events at Kyler's feet, that he's calm. And that he's driven by a purpose. That purpose keeps him calm. <sighs> right. Uh, recovered? <sighs> Let's get some fucking food. Hopefully the bomb's there. Yeah. <sighs> I'm sure we can find some time with uh, Tazim today. At the very Some least, point. he can put you on a path. I usually find that <sighs> sets my mind at ease a little. So many things. Mm. I just want to get it over with. I want answers. Yeah. Don't we all? So is she good to you? That man is gonna be over encumbered if it's a little too darn heavy. Yeah, she is. It's harsh at times, and it took a bit to uh, get used to things. But at the end of the day, she's trying to get me ready for something that I am definitely not ready for. So. As long as she treats you right, mm. the rest is not up to me. She's <laughs> not cruel. She just doesn't have time for bullshit. None of us do. She's peculiar. She's a hard read. Hmm. I've really managed to gleam a few bits here and there, trying to fulfill the picture. Maybe he's like, you know, I'll support the local mercenaries, something like that. Okay with well, would, would you be <laughs> interested in that, Aegon? I am. There's a bit of a stretch, plus I'm pretty sure he's the Baron that I owe to, well, the Altai. It's a... If he's not here, I'm going to steal his food. <laughs> Sorry. We'll put some food on the, or some the coins on the counter. We'll just say we took <clears throat> food. Yeah. <laughs> Usually 15 copper. You're a hot elf, that's what you are. Mm. Uh, oh, oh, okay. I see you. I see you now, you're trying to... Ah, yeah, I see what you're doing. Wait, what about daylight right now? Jeez. This you, you want... I'm just gonna grab some of the soup that's on. <clears throat> yeah. That's a Thought I grabbed two. There we go. Why, thank you. That's interesting. That shouldn't happen. 
Oh, the floor? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I remember that. Do you remember? <laughs> remember the last time we saw some shit like that? <laughs> I do. I got kicked down in Stabber's Alley and I got a stupid t-shirt. Just your regular t-shirt. <sighs> Maybe I need to run in the morning more often. Maybe they were onto something this whole time. <laughs> you know, well, as an apology, I think I'm gonna run with them tomorrow. Kind of blew them off and then went and ran with you instead after I told them I'm not a run. <laughs> <laughs> well, at the very least, the soup will taste really no, good. in the lobby. Mm. Um. It does. Yeah, let's finish this and then find Tazim, if you want. Sure. Works for me. Shall we? Yeah, let's go. This is. Oh, I don't want to have this conversation later. Yeah. And then one wants sight. I don't like the looks of that. Of what? Just keep walking. Just mm. keep walking. Oh. Um, a guard running out from the direction of Vestron's house. I'm just traumatized. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Fucking drow hating losers. <coughs> Have you seen that priest walking around? Oh my god. <laughs> Bits and pieces. Yeah. I heard he screamed at you. Yeah, he did. Someone else's. Otherwise, I'd be there. Oh God! <laughs> I will beat <laughs> this madness. Uh, sure. And you said Tordy is later today. Yes. But planning on going somewhere, so more than likely you should guide them towards where you need to go. All right. Sounds like a plan. If hey. there's anyone else that's archaeological, um, architecturally inclined, bring them with you if you trust them. Aye. Sounds good. Good. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. You uh, busy or got time for conversation? Oh, uh, hey, Marcus. I have time. Good. You we have, have something idea. very important to talk about. Something good, right? This is good news. Ooh, I like good news. Oh, it's not good news. Mm-mm. I could put some tea on. Oh. Might need it. Okay. You have you my trust full attention. Him enough to hear it. Absolutely. Right then. <coughs> Fucking hell. I'll have a look. There's a lot going on. Miss Ladia. Hey. Is um. Morden around by any chance? I haven't seen him today. You can try his house. All good. Sometimes Just he broods in his study. Him. Yep. All right. Thanks. Somebody on the other side of Gradia said, I know of Dredge and I want him and I'll pay 50 gold for his ass. They will come here, sedate him, capture him, and sell him over on the other side of the province and provide paperwork. You found us <coughs> last night. Steel. Yes. So, is that where Torty was? Fair 
Sorry, say again. I've gone crazy. There are voices in my head. It's all right. I understand. Trust me. Is that where Torty was? I, I didn't hear you, say again. Torty, is that where you <coughs> went? Is that no. what happened to her? No, she ran into what I was told was pirates. They must be from Blackrock. The last I knew, there weren't any pirates here. But apparently they were familiar with where she came from. But it's a concern for Vezrin currently, not me. Well, don't speak too soon. If Blackrock is what I think it is. I received a warning, kind of, that the Dread Knives would be making an appearance in Nautis very soon. The Dread Knives? Whatever for? Being led here by a much, um, smarter cat, I should say. Huh. Um, someone's playing a game and they're falling into the trap. Thank it is sorry. good news for us if this... Thank you. If this player <sighs> decides uh, to let me help him, we might be able to tie up a lot of loose ends amongst our group, as well as get is rid that, of a very dangerous group of people. So that concerns me. Because we were told that there was some indiv individual called the Bloodhound. Someone that we've never heard of before that apparently is a ghost story to most mercenary companies. Someone who oh, no. no one has ever seen outside of their armor that has been around for much longer than any human should be. Whatever the fuck that means. Apparently they're coming looking for us. Directly us. Us as in you, or us as in... Everyone in this building that operates with Ooh. the forge. Okay. So they the, found us. The things that we came across, those wagons full of serenity and spice, I think that they are being used to recover. And when we came into town with those wagons for the wagoneers, or the caravaneers, I should say, the Capitano saw us come into town on those bloody wagons. More than likely, he's the one who passed that information along. Those men that were in here were trying to get what was on those wagons back. Oh, shit. It was only through convincing that one of them gave that information forward. You can ask Sharik. I offered to let them go. If they merely gave that information again and again and again, I gave them outs. They were so terrified of this bloodhound. But they asked to die. They would not leave. Oh my god. I have never seen that fuck? kind of fear before. But it was very prevalent and apparent. So I don't know who this bloodhound is, but they have anything to do with the dread knives. I'm sure we're going to have a problem here very soon. Well, who is this friend you're if... working with? <laughs> um, I don't know his name. Hmm. Don't even know what to call him, really. He's who I've been working with, who I've been making my money with. I'm going to ask the obvious question: Can he be trusted? Absolutely fucking not. But he is very good at what he does. And he seems to fancy me. I know my way around a man, even if they could be smarter than I imagine. <laughs> He's a silver tongue, though. 
One wrong move. It's a risk. We have other means to take care of the dread knives as well. As well as my problem. Which I don't mean to be a priss, but... I feel like we have um, something else to be worried about, other than everything that's been stated. Something a bit more pressing. Something a bit more dangerous. <sighs> the drow matron, do you remember what she said that night? Not entirely. Remind me. The matriarch has declared that the drow are to return to the surface. Soon. Now everyone mean? believes... <laughs> That's a great question. Everyone believes that there's only one entrance. And that's an Eshma. Which will definitely be targeted, but there are other ways to get out of the Underdark. We don't know when or where they're going to be coming from. The matron... She had me do a job last night. I was to intercept High Elven correspondence before it reached Eshma. I did so successfully. I have found out what both parties are looking for. The High Elves in originality and then the Drow who are trying to find it first. This is going to sound like a broken record, and I do not look forward to the exasperated sighs that are going to echo throughout the room, but there is a lost city somewhere in no uh, Gradia, Providence. Nith... Mm, Nith something, Nith Mamalarian, or... I butcher it. I know it's High Elven, though. It doesn't ring a bell. It doesn't. But they said something of it being underneath. Whether that means the ocean or our feet, I don't know. But they are trying to find it before the High Elves do, the drow. And I just assisted them in having an upper hand. I don't know what this has done for their agenda. But I needed to, to get her to trust me. She will beckon me again. And hopefully this time, I'll be able to figure something out to get my foothold. Maybe there's a way to maintain the balance of power. There is that high elf that frequents here by the name of Galeel. He has no love for Eshma's policies. He is an old veteran of the Drow War. He's had his fill of killing. All the men that served with him, there's a handful left, and they're loyal to him. Not Ashma the Love. Right now, it's Galeel's scouts that are keeping an eye on the coastlands to give us advanced warnings when the Imperial ships are in sight on their way here. We'll have a four-day warning. Maybe five if we're lucky. Four days. Four or five days. Okay. It's something. Okay. It's better than waking up and then being here. Right. <laughs> Means we keep prepare. It's good. We have 13 or perhaps 12. I'm hoping with what Markle did yesterday, we might have gained a few more days or so. If you're not aware, one of the hardliner Imperials attempted to send a missive directly to the Inquisition. High Inquisitor Gamble, no less. Yes. Yes, you are correct. Bypassing. Yes, it was Tarek's last name. Byron Gamble. His father was a High Inquisitor, still is. <laughs> a 
Apparently, this miss missive was sent, and what they were attempting to say was... What exactly? I don't remember, my son. Um... <clears throat> the, I believe they were, um, saying that the garrison at the embassy had fallen, or become traitors. And our worry was that they were going to send, um... Contingencies from the other embassies over here to reinforce the oh, one in Nortis. Fuck me. It was intercepted, mm. thanks to these two. So that missive never mm. made it out. Markle sent one in its place, advising the ships to give a wide berth to Eshmethalas because the elves have been hostile. So if they take a wide berth, it might attack on a few days to those ships getting in. Maybe two. I'm not going was to. Was that his it. idea? It was actually. Well, partially. Smart fucker. He had an idea to intervene, but mm. yeah, we all came up with well, an idea. That was a. Uh, it was Clifford. He said he had another use for the chest you found yesterday. Chest? I found. I didn't find a chest. Or that he found. Regardless. Oh. <clears throat> At that camp. I'll talk to him later. Hi. <sighs> On that Not to but segue back, saying, but... This Galil. If mm. you feed him information, that might be able to keep the matron in check and apply pressure to her. Without her knowing it has anything to do with you. But then... We might be no, able you're to right. No, it's alright. Sorry. He doesn't report Go to ahead. anyone. Right. In the very least, you can make years. it look. You can make it look like there's interference. I'm just spitballing this. I don't know if it's a good idea or not, but. We need to get rid of her. <laughs> Unfortunately, we either need to convince her that it's not here, or. I need to find it first. <laughs> or. Or we kill her. What's the best way to convince a drow matron uh, of something? Beckon her in somewhere, in another direction with something shinier. I don't know. I thought that's what the fucking rock would do. Right. But fuck Vesterin. It wasn't um, inert. I know it wasn't inert. I fucking watched what it could do. That was my only idea. Figure but out what she would I don't think is shinier. Or my only we get rid of her. This... Would they really let a matron just go disappearing here in the province? That's my only concern. It would be putting a very large target on my back. But I'd if be sending a message you. back to the matriarch. I would. Unless you want them it is... to know it's you. It would be a death wish, most likely, but... It would be rather funny, wouldn't it? I don't think your mm. death would be funny. No. Hers would. But anyways, if this were the Underdark and I were to murder her successfully, there would be no reper repercussion for me. I would take her men. They would be obligated. Under me. But I don't know if that still applies. I don't know if I even want to do that. Been changing course recently. What we can agree on, in the very least, is she is an issue. We need to figure out what she wants and make sure she doesn't get it. She's working on the whim of the matriarch. She wants whatever's in that lost city. And if I can put a pattern together, let's be honest, it's a fucking portal. So they can erupt from the ground. Oh, and it's not because... <laughs> Here's the thing. The matriarch wouldn't just leave the Underdark because she wants new land. The, the Underdark is an expanse yet to be fully explored by any drow, any creature. So why would she want to go up if she could go out and down? If not, she is being removed. There's got to be a reason for it, I would think. You're saying it's wild territory happen. down there? It's just open? Most of it, yes. It's uninhabitable. A drow live amongst dominions with high walls. It... Hmm. 
If you believe in them, it's a hellscape. The creatures down there do not rival... The creatures up here do not rival any. I can agree to that. I think we believe I, that. I can... I, I don't believe it. I think we believe you. <laughs> I believe mm -hmm. you. With that in mind... We love the Underdark. I love the Underdark. And Drow would never leave... Unless they are being forced out. No, well, that's it. To stay up here. It sounds like they do. I think they plan to take Ashma back. Oh. So war then. They plan to attack from all sides. If they get the portals open, they can come from this end. And if they come out from the fucking ground, they can get them from underneath. Ah, <sighs> I don't even know okay, what they're so going to do bad. about the Imperium. It's it's bad. I've been awake for fucking two days figuring out what the fuck she's going to do next. Well, I have to quickly go oversee what's going on with this Haraja fellow at the arena. We'll convey and speak more about this later. You still have to try and get in with her. I know it's nerve-wracking, but none of us can do it but you. Go on. If I've been doing this my you, entire you life. Will. No. That's the worst part. I thought you could. I thought all of you could. But I will not risk it again. Well, if there's a way we can support from outside her vision, we will. <laughs> we have a firing squad. <laughs> if I had one. <laughs> I might, very soon, once that fucking Imperial shows up again. Good idea. I'll go get a crossbow. <laughs> I wish those worked against her. If they did, I would have shot her dead already and told her men that they belonged to me. Then I would have used them against the dread knives, and it would have been a wonderful time. Then we could all hop on the boat, drink booze, and <laughs> sail into the sunset before the if only Empire that even easy. arrives. <laughs> this life. <laughs> if only. In a perfect world, I guess. Oh. Stupid fucking bitch. Not you. I the don't know. <laughs> Yes. <laughs> um, we'll make the best of it. Uh, Sarah, you know? We could try our best. Or That's all we can do. we'll die trying. What Absolutely. better to die at the hands of a matron, I guess? It's one of the greatest honors that we can see down there. Mm-hmm. I know it's not my place, uh, but I'd rather no one dies in this outcome. I... Things need to be sacrificed for the safety of the ones important to us. Whether that is sacrifice of self or something else. But every single mm. time it is sacrificed. Every fucking time we lose someone. And honestly, I think I'd rather be selfish and die <laughs> than have to go through the feeling of loss again. He said the arena. So that means there's a fight. We should go watch it. If there is a fight. It's one for the ages, they say. Uh, I think there was drinks and bread. Uh, so that's good. Oh, exciting. Carbs. Yeah. And alcohol. Bread and, <laughs> bread and arena fights. You know, keep us uh, distracted and all that. Shall we? Mm. At least I think it's soon. Hello. Hello, Marcus. The fights will be beginning right? soon. Three rounds. <laughs> yes, depends on the name, name, name. But the uh, arena name is called here. I hear it's the uh, oh, yes. puncher, that's right. I hear this is the fight of the ages, right? Yes, they're going to one hell of a fight. For what I know, I'm in the first round, but they know there's going to be three rounds. <laughs> All right, well, I guess done. if we're not told what it is, then it's probably going to be a doozy if you want to come see. All right, Stan, All we'll right. see. See you around, Marcus. Yes, yeah, see you. How's the horse? <clears throat> He's alright. He needs to get out. Yeah. Just waiting on Tazim to teach me the last I think lesson. We all need to get out. Yeah. 
Round about. Three rounds, three rounds. The fight pits are beginning soon. Come enjoy the fight. Oh, do you want, did you want to fight today? Yeah, we could, <laughs> we could spa. I'm talking to him. <laughs> yeah. What did I do? No, not you. <laughs> don't worry. You can ask what? Shariq when I slap no, him. No, like no, no, worry. Okay. I'm not talking. The yeah. cat. Pawing at me. I have no strength in my face. Place your bets in the fighting pits. Lady in the crowd wearing green. Wow. Take your bets. Okay. When somebody oh. lose somebody. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. I, I, I adore the accent. I'm sorry. A cat. A cat. A cat. Oh, sorry. You know what? I'm going to switch the country. This is what I'm going to talk about from now on. Y'all going to have to deal with it. It's like it's all in the bag. Actually, no, someone else says it that way. Never mind. The bag. <laughs> there's, there's, there's one other drow I know. She says the bag. Yeah, the bag. The bag. Yeah. Oh, yes, that's those Minnesotan drow. <laughs> yes, the Minnesotan drow. <laughs> <laughs> you, you caught on instantly. Shariq is, um, yeah. Shariq is an authentic the drow, if you didn't know. Mm. Ah, okay. I'm from yeah, Down Under. Oh, see you, bud. Garvan, if you go to down Under. The arena, you saw it when you were feeling a sharp pain in your ribs <laughs> and Crikey. along your side. Drower. Not something like you felt before. Sometimes. Most of the time they're just purple. That's not so bad. Oh, look at all the blood. So pretty. <laughs> oh, I wish they cleaned it up. I don't. <laughs> I guess if this were another place, I'd offer to grab a soap bar and a bucket and clean it. I don't know if I oh, want to do careful. this anymore. Oh, I don't. If I fall in, I'm going to start screaming. Rolling. Sometimes the fighters will. Uh oh. Go fuck yourself. <laughs> <gasps> Sometimes you the lean fight back is a little bit, your the foot wall. slips, but luckily it slips in this direction. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> little Miss, what the fuck? Oh, Shariq, you're very gentlemanly. Tordy. Always. Oh, bye, Tordy. <laughs> Always, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tordy. I wish we have the evacuation seats in <gasps> case things get a Look. bit blurry. I, yeah. It's a draw fight. Huh? Oh, he better fucking there's win. Another one. Oh. Against Dredge. Oh, he's good looking. Oh, hey, fuck, Shriek. Dredge fighting. Looks like it. For once, I'm disappointed. <laughs> Is that? <laughs> there. What about it? Do you know who sick. that is? No, one next to them. He's basically, basically male noses. He's a slave owner. Oh. Specifically do you know for the, the, uh, do you know the name? Arena. Doesn't ring a bell. Oh wait, uh, no. Uh, fuck. I do know it, I can't remember it. Okay, out of character, Dina. No. <laughs> I, can't, I do know how to character, but I can't remember what it is. Okay. I mean, in character, Dina. Okay. In character, Haraja. That's the between one. Us. Uh, it's oh, a yeah, yeah. Haraja. Yeah. <laughs> Slave owner. He basically rivals against Nozis kind of thing. They have like a little rivalry going. Okay, I'll Ooh, keep an eye on them. Do you think they kiss? I think they I fucking hate each other, honestly. Doubt it. Yeah, I think that uh, doesn't mean they don't kiss. The arena where we are going to have some fantastic Is it like a enemies to lovers kind of thing? Oh. I don't know. No, maybe we should ask them. Meat and cheese kebabs. Meat and cheese kebabs. Six kebabs. I want one. I want one. How exciting is that? I love me a kebab. Oh, here we go. Where's my fucking cheese? Oh, thank you. Oh, God, this is long. Hmm. Hey, for your business, oh, I recommend this not to get the a skewer. He's a good. He owes fight. me cheese. As much as he's a good fighter, I think. I think oh, that's right. Eric, Bucci, Eric, uh, get it back. Which cheese did you want? He asked. 
You this can get it back. Motherfucker, you, I business. gave him money and I said, recommend me no, your best we, cheese. We, yes, cheese you want. This. The skew he and he was, he is supposed to recommend it to me. He wants the best one. What is this? This is one of my best. That is the skewer. Along with a smoked sausage. He said blue cheese? Yeah. It's good. Gouda. Gouda. Not Gouda. Smoked cheese is not exactly great on a skewer. Yeah, it's not. It doesn't taste bad, though. It's delicious, by the way. It was really it's good. good. Stew, dipped in stew. I'll take Secundus. Um, I'll really find some Thank you, Bucci. Socks off. But that, that's mm -hmm. on the house, of course. Appreciate it. Mm -hmm. Mark my words, of course. Uh, cheers. What the Bucci? Bucci. You said for I recommend no, not the no, first no, no. five. Oh bet on the tips. second and third. Just don't oh. bet on the first one. Right. Okay. It's really good. Thank mm. you very kindly. Uh, it does taste smoked. Yeah, it's a smoked yeah. cheese and smoked sausage. That is oh. That's so weird. It tastes like smoke. How often do you eat smoke? Depends on the wood you use, but yeah. Well, that one time. I want to play spats. I want to make money today. Who's uh? I, I, I who's taking bets? We usually they have people that going around. It's either the woman or Hermie. Hermie usually goes around. Oh, okay, got it. Oh, I think it's a hermie out if you bet for someone else besides what He hasn't been around in a while. That's how it works, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hope he's alright. Hmm. Hmm. Mainly, I just need him to survive. Mm. Mm. There's a bigger turn out uh, today. Do not forget to look for Yeshla in the corner. If anything, was the big announcement enough to drive you here? Let's just say I always want to see something. I'm here for the supporting of your team. Well, there's Dredge. My greatest top of them. Pretty ladies down here. What more can anybody really ask for here at the arenas? Three of my cheese wheels. All the same shit. I didn't think he would. I don't. Nothing. I gotta chill. It was like really violent. I think only he. I mean, someone's walking over your grave. I have a grave. Your grave to be. Is that what that means? That's lucky. I don't even have one. Supposedly. Oh my god. What oh. the fuck was that? Oh, did you hear something? I heard something a little bit ago. I don't think yeah. it's... Yeah. That's why I went, huh. I know I'm jumping with excitement too. It was like, mm -hmm. the yeah. yeah. Yeah, I heard what that a bit ago. What the fuck was that? There's some fucking aliens. The what? You have, you have a thought. Maybe the aliens. Is, is I had the first bout of 3v3, so I am. There's two of them up there. They couldn't throw too much at you. Look at them. Mm -hmm. Oh, she saw me point at the fuck. Fuck, 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 fuck. Fuck, you have to shoot her. Don't, don't worry about it. Just don't worry about it. told me, apparently, I should keep my mind for the second fight. Because God, if I, if they were, if that's to give them some sort of. Hey, you think, um. I'll bet the bank. Well, of course, I'm a. What do you think of me and Nalzas? You know? No. Well, I think she would bite your fucking throat out if you got near her. I feel like she'd step oh. in her nuts and... I don't know if you're into that. And bite your throat. Yeah, I'm not into that. Okay, well then, no, maybe no. not you and Noses. I feel like she would grab you by the testicles and drag you into the ring and then have Dredge beat the shit out of you. God, I wish that was someone else. Someone, someone said because I'm a builder they think I could fix it, you know? Does she need to be fixed? To name Bob, you... anyways, so... Uh, or do you need to be broken? No. <laughs> what? Huh? <laughs> taking Look, bets and taking names, any crazy. bets on any gladiators oh, here today? What's the first Ooh. fight? Uh, sure. All right. Uh, we have a 3v3v2. Yeah, yeah, I'm scaring the shit out of me. A 3v3v3, that's a real... Okay. It's a real big one, that is. We have some of our favorite gladiators. We have Dredge Orcsbane, along with Secundus, and a few other of your favorites that you've seen survive these gladiator bits. Hmm. So, any takers? 
What's the limit? When you have your ear to the ground, I don't have any money on me, I'm broke. We got a really big budget this time around. So whatever you have on you, if you'd like to bet. Ooh. I only have it's two tempting. people with ten silver for the second fight. Ten silver? <laughs> huh. You don't have to go that high, of course. A lot of people are just bragging about how much they really have. Who's fighting? I even took... We have Dredge Orcsbane, we have Sokundus, we have... His name always bloody escapes me. Where's Purple? You know, he's a little bit of a loudmouth show-off. Hmm. Is there a window for betting when the fighters come out? In the middle of the fight, you can go ahead. If you think that somebody's going to win, go ahead and start making your okay. bets. I'll put five silver on Dredge. Right. Fuck you need me. Oh. Yes. How much on Dredge? Five silver. Five silver on Dredge. Oh my, oh my. Mm. Thank you kindly. <clears throat> All right, so I'll, I'll let's see here. Yeah, Marcus. What am I hearing? Am I hearing? Wonderful sound of coin. Five hundred. I, I I believe in you. Five hundred. Okay. Okay. You believe in me? Take you should be believing it. in Dredge, man. I'm gonna put <laughs> right. ten on Thank Secundus, you kindly. the drow. Oh. Ten on Secundus! Oh, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Let me go ahead and write this down in my notepad here. Pretty sure they're on the same team. Beautiful lady in white, the man with the burden scar Good. on his face, and the purple boy. Yes, <laughs> right. Well, what, we don't know if they're gonna okay. win. Uh, I mean, well, I've seen Dredge a fight. Fun competition. It is a 3v3v3. Three three three. I do not know who's <laughs> That's on which team. That's why it's called betting. <laughs> you all might win. Uh, thank That'd you. be nice. Uh, there we go. Yeah. Here we go. Oh, this is way more exciting when you bet money. See? <laughs> now you get it. It's a and bit more exciting. Five, <laughs> Just double checking on that amount that you oh, have given ten. me here. I said ten. Ten. <laughs> on oh, that one. Secundus himself. So does that mean if he lives, I get 10 silver? All right, by the looks of yes. it, here I can see very clearly now. You get your turn back and then 10. Usually how it works is if most of us bet on Dredge, it's actually... We would get less if we all bet on oh, 20, It's not really 20, right? you gain 10 in total. Because you put your 10 to her and you get that back, but then you also get 10 on top of it. So you gain 10. Oh, hey there, Matthew. Not at all. Give me one moment to do this quick introduction, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. To the arena. I just got here. Technically, the odds should be well, they're taking that switched, but you know, we're not doing really that because that's math. Okay. This is addictive. Now I know why I wasn't doing this. Yeah. <clears throat> it's a hard one. The girl Calico. What the fuck? Dredge, we have money on you. I, I think they do the betting easier here. I think it's just Mr. one Drow, to one. Please don't die. It is merely rumor. If they couldn't kill me in the Prova, they won't kill me here. Yeah. My faith. <laughs> my dear. I have a lot of money on you. Good investment. <laughs> Give him one for a <laughs> I like him. Morning, Hope he's as good with his swords as he is with his tongue. Like I my favorite Apparently, two, two people were looking for you this morning. Uh, this one I'm worried about. about they seem to have no, the weak no. link seem with like him. new people. Oh. Yeah, I wouldn't bet on them. Mm. But you never know. She doesn't even look like she wants to fight. Well, you, you, you never know, know until woman, you see someone fight. Words. Mm. A weird accent. I saw her fight once. And one of them. Oh. 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 Well, one of them's over there. The white one. The woman in the white shirt. I think she's a ringer. There we go. Right. Thank you, Matthias. I appreciate the information. Right. Uh, miss, what is your name? The signal, Mr. Dredge. The bomb. Pretend the roars. Holy <laughs> shit. Oh. Is he gonna throw that? Oh, he's just gonna throw it. Uh, good luck. That was an amazing throw. I'm not sure. I'm sorry. 
against the uh, Unfortunately, you read through the damn thing. I'm curious. I, I didn't understand that. She said something in a different language. Oh, I think so. I think so. I think we should go oh. ahead and cheer on our heroes, Holy don't you fuck think? Dredge. Mm -hmm. Holy fuck, <laughs> Dredge. Holy shit, Dredge. Go Dredge and Secundus and... He's scary when he runs. Monk lady? She doesn't have a weapon. Is it her body that's the weapon? Looks like it. Uh, she was I in the arena before. She Maybe. survived a six-person free-for-all. What? Oh my god! Are you joking? She's cracked. Oh my god, Dredge. She kind of fights like Marin. Hmm. Oh, they took all the fighting over there. Hmm. Yeah, they're in well. a gaggle. Those two are at least. That's true. She's fucking dodging that axe. Look at her. <clears throat> that. That is fucking Shriek. strange. Holy uh, shit! Ooh. You see that? You see oh that draw? I do. <laughs> He's moving very fucking quick with two swords. Yes. Oh my god! His lightning reflexes! It's not unknown to drow males. They are fast and deadly. It's a completely different level than the glaive here. Oh yes. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna go with Marnie language, Marcus. He's holding back. Kyle He's holding back? Comments. He silently old. watch the match. He's fast. Very fast. Nearly untouchable by the other gladiator, but you consider how your own speed would measure Such up against him. Such a fantastic fight today, as I do say so myself. He's barely any scars on him. Master Dowie, do you have any bets that you'd like to take now in looking at the fights and how things are going? <laughs> Oh god. Silver on dredge. A silver on dredge. Uh, go Secundus, you got this. <clears throat> oh, she's she beat she beat one of the gladiators. Oh my god. Sorry, I'm distracted. No, you're good. Please yield. Everybody needs to okay. as well. Yeah, yeah. good job. Yeah. Good job, Secundus. Shut there up. There you go. If you give everybody their cheese and support, they fight a lot better. So please oh. be loud and boisterous. Yeah. Throughout this thing. Yeah. Oh, they fight a lot better. So please be loud and boisterous throughout this entire thing. Oh, Dredge, don't kill him. Dredge. Okay. Oh, shit, she's dead. She put him. She, uh... Oh, never mind. She threw him He's to on the, the ground. ground now. Holy shit. Yeah. She's a wormy little thing, isn't she? She's a she's a snake. She coiled around him. Oh my god. <laughs> what the fuck <laughs> is going on over there? She used her thighs like and she threw him. Do you to see that? Fair, I, she did jump onto one person, like, onto their shoulders and then threw them to the ground. This is most unorthodox, though. She is a snake, isn't she? That's a good word. She moves like one. Look at it, her. Can't hit her! So fluid. <laughs> <laughs> Spun around like a fucking... Oh, he looks like he's like a terrible. dancer. Oh, she's going for a hold. That was close. Oh, well, that... <laughs> that one was closer. Uh-oh. Well, I think this is just about finished. Yeah, I would agree. Outnumbered and outmatched. He yielded. Oh my god. Oh, you just oh. fucking buried him. I think that guy... Oh. Uh, no, not that. Yeah. It's still going. The red team needs to be subdued. Too many people voted. Well, I'm actually gonna head out, uh... 
Tell me what happens if you see me at the tavern. <clears throat> Will do. I'm a grappler, but now she has someone who she can actually fight. Look, this pure war is a war. Understood? Oh, finally, he hit her. Oh, God. He died. A lot of people he's are dead. That one's dead. Fuck, he's doing a JoJo <laughs> Sometimes you have to. I heard you hear it to assume dominance. What the fuck is she doing? Is that some fighting stuff? She's, she's doing her best. So, okay. <clears throat> Oh, now Secundus has no weapon. Interesting. Oh, never mind. I see the knife in his hand. No, oh, now he has no weapon. Predicted it. Holy shit, big brain. A stool. You guys are so in sync. Who the fuck threw the stool? Oh my god, yeah, we're so in sync. What's his horoscope, do you think? Fucking rocket. Mm, fuck if I know. <laughs> but if I were Probably to guess, he's definitely a Leo. Uh. Fancy. Oh god. Oh. <laughs> Maybe he's like a two spirit drow. What? Oh no, nothing's. <laughs> Sorry. Fucking <coughs> <laughs> <What an> idiot. <laughs> what? I, I don't know how no. it works. Shut the fuck up. Oh that's not how it okay. works. <laughs> Never mind. Oh, that's fucking sad. Oh. Oh, he just slapped him. Oh. Good. <laughs> God. The disrespect. <laughs> the disrespect, yeah. <laughs> he did it again! <laughs> that could be worse. Could have killed him by now. Now he's just playing with him. You think if Dredge slapped someone, it would knock them out? <clears throat> Try. I think I could take a dredge slap. Well, no. I don't think I will. One hand or uh, well hand done. Or backhand. I'd pay to see that. The anchor as long as he doesn't have ring. Final punctual thud in the middle of the arena, now strewn with bodies and blood and several fragments of bone. It seems like the fight has concluded. <coughs> oh, God. Hey, you made some money. That was crazy. So did you. Mm -hmm. That's awesome. Counting off my... This there with my own fees going through. It's all going to work yeah. stuff anyway. And then mostly going through my own fees of being here, taking care of them, putting through to the slaves themselves. Everyone should be getting roughly around... 15 silver. Alrighty. Let's go. <laughs> but now I'm I would agree. Oh, holy shit. I'm glad I stuck with my bed. What do you think the second one? I'm glad everyone did. Hmm. Is there more fights? I'll be honest, I think so. Two more. Two more. Oh, two more. <clears throat> he would obviously not go to the. He wouldn't go around the numbers. Give it to a larger opponent, but of course, personal fees. Do you see how boisterous I am compared to most people who go and advertise for this place? I got to get paid too. Oh, oh, I don't oh, mind you. giving you a tip, but normally the office just allow us to have the full price, and we give a tip afterwards. Yeah, what's up with that? Thank you. Fine. Thank you fine, 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 fine. She hands you two more silver. <laughs> Actually, she's gonna give you three, so that works out. They're just making up the rules. <laughs> it's fine, you don't want him to go broke now. Where's the bank? Um, Fifteen silver. Security. I don't think she's going to oh, thank you. Oh, I won't complain. <laughs> I think she said something about a bad knee the other day. Alright, let's see if I can remember correctly for the pretty boy to Let's see, going through, you gave me five, so be ten. Thank you. I think it's being sorted. 
Listen. She gave me a little extra. Listen. Here you go, little lady. Thank you. Oh, yours. You see, you can be a wink. Right. Oh, and I'll link back. Oh. You, let's see here if I remember correctly. Yours was five copper, right? Thirty. What else can yeah. shut Thirty copper. See that's. Oh yeah, so I picked that up while the dwarf was there. Oh, so like a true <laughs> spitter. <laughs> Sorry, they have to have, have at least that. All right. Mm -hmm. Unless they have anything else. So the they dug up. Yeah, I'll just give you two silver pieces. Uh, I'm bad at math. Here you go. Well, uh, sure. Thank you. Good thing we have troops I can think of one thing. Let's speak of horrifying stuff. All right. Here's yours. Oh, yeah, oops, did oh, you make shit. a bet? You see, you give you a wink, give you a lecture. I'm planning on it. Let's wing. see. We did see oh. that. And this you know good boy went ahead and did what he needed time. to do here. Like so, that was 10. Right. So we're going to go ahead. Okay. Should be around. You know, because it's a little bit of this What do you think, let it ride? What's up? What do you think, let it ride? <clears throat> oh, I don't know who's fighting. <sighs> well, if we get enough money, we can clear a couple expenses out of the way. I'm going to need more tools, by the way, for project. Mm, we're pretty low in iron right now. Try the market, That's please. That's bits of it all. Yeah, see if you can get some second-hand tools or something. Are you done with the fight? <coughs> I think so. Hmm. There's gonna be like another two, I mean, it's... Apparently there's two more. Uh... We just made some. I'm gonna... <laughs> I'm gonna keep an eye on uh, the one up top. Let's get out if you need to. Yeah. I don't know what else there is to do around. Lay in the grass. Not much. Fall asleep. Everyone's Empty. mostly here. Yeah, exactly. Fuck it. I'll take Got a drinks, seat. food, and fights. I just have to deal with the yeah. pickpocket. You, mm. you want me to back for you? May as well. <clears throat> we can go train if you want. <sighs> After this. We spa. After this, okay. I just sat down. You keep it, Miss Lily. I'm interested to see if you can turn around and make it to the Just need the hammer. Um, I need sword and shield. Sword and shield. Well, the the miss is around, yeah. The what? I thought I thought they were showing you the miss. Oh no. Uh, the, Check your She's pockets. Mm. I just had to pick pockets. Okay. What? Not like mm. I have anything on me. I just had to deal with the pickpocket. So make sure you have your coin purse. I'll fucking cut you... your fingers off. <clears throat> As you, all of you sit here, uh, you all tap on your signs. You all have your coin purses. Everything's in line. Kyla's is... out of the order now. Kyla's gonna subtly move his after checking it to his front. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. They might even give them better weapons. Though, every, uh, <coughs> about it, if willing to pick pockets, you go such. in. Yeah. Attention, mm. pickpocket. For everyone that is no, present you know at the arena, for everyone who is present at the arena, the tower of the castle that is closest to the sea. You will see a massive pulley system being operated by several Redox soldiers and a very large crate being dropped into the arena itself. Once the crate touches the ground, the front will fall off and a very heavily restrained creature will be seen in the corner waiting, snarling. Oh, Not this is going box? to be quite exciting indeed. Hello. No. Thoughts are pulling a box. Oh, fuck. I what is that? Don't... Mm. Oh. It's. From what I could see here, very... it does look oh. like it is orcs. So this is going to be very exciting. Oh. Uh -huh. Man Lovely. Man versus beast. Oh, shit. Who's on the man's team? It's going to be Dreadrock <clears throat> Spain and Secundus versus Beast. 
Looks like it's. I don't. Yeah. Go ahead and put this doesn't look here. good. I will Does it? Count using my abacus. Do not worry. And fresh. It looks so, so long. Me later on. It's hunched over. Oh, good How's... heavens! It seems oh, we have more God. beasts than what I thought. This is going to be even more exciting than before. Man versus beast. dropped them into the arena. How is exciting! Let's hope none of them die. Because from what I can see here, that looks like a troll. Yes, that is a never seen one before. How are they going to restrain that thing from just attacking the walls? Oh, they won't. This is stupid. First of all, are they in danger? Also, do we bet? No. Oh, they're trying to get at the people. <laughs> they can't climb those walls so easily, Miss Lily. And if they do, the guards will take care of it. I, I, I do see the crossbows the gongs are pulling out. With crossbows to leave them in a pickled mess before they even get close. Pop up. Wait, they're fighting again? The guards are under the same threat of death as we are. Ah, they're going again. So trust me, uh, be careful. Happening over there. You all watch as the orcs run to the corner, picking up weapons discarded for them, and they begin hacking at the chains of the troll that was lowered <coughs> into the arena. Oh my god. Are, are we safe? No. Probably no. not. Stick your head out higher than the tree. You all see as soon as it's it it like the chains that were holding that beast down. Okay, if it gets over here, we leave, right? <clears throat> Good luck, Secundus. Please don't die. I don't want anyone to die here. Jeez. No, even Marcus, troll. Should you get some extra wood to fortify this position? Well, trolls are not known for trolls different. Orcs Bane! Glad to know. I don't suppose anyone has a natural. Just a question. I want what he's having. Don't forget the cheer the Orcs Bane! Orcs Bane! Come on! Orc Spain! Let's go! Show. Oh, he's gonna throw it! It's the well, trench special! He's got an established <laughs> or opener, at least. That's, yeah. He does. That's right. And it looks like they have a troll in this. I am. Uh, can you put my winnings towards Dredge? Uh, and simply pass me one silver back. Ah, uh, will do. Do indeed, good sir. Will do indeed. Keep on hyping them up. Let's make sure that our men do Let's go, Dredge. To the orc and troll menace. Come on, shout it out. Orc. Keep hey. your hands on your weapons just in case. Trolls are not known for being very smart. If one of them chooses right. to pick up one of the orcs and throw it at the walls, it will more than likely succeed. Yep. I'm on it. And no, not the troll. I'm I'm trying to turn a new leaf, okay? With the whole <clears throat> Kyler, as you watch, even from this distance, you see that the drow, while he is trying to put on a show, the orc, however, does not seem to recognize his strikes. Blades are drawn across the green, green flesh. The beast simply powers through the strikes. The drow is making a show of it, for sure. Oh my god. Somewhere. Somewhere just on the edge there. You can tell he's not holding back. Because if he did, he would definitely be risking his life against an opponent like this. No, please do. You do not want that troll to pop out. No, I would not think not. You placing any bets this time around? You better not dodge the orc. Oh god, he's picked him up! And... Oh, fuck. Oh. Come on, Secundus! Goodness me, is no one cheering on for that monk over in the corner there, fighting all on her lonesome. 
I don't even know her name. Oh. She's trying her best. That's all I can say. That's a shame. Marco's looking off to the right. You can see that this monk appears to be trying to maneuver around the orc, use its attacks against itself, dodge, weave, and land strikes. And while strikes are landed, she seems to be trying to choke out this orc by its neck that is roughly the size of a tree trunk. and female counterparts trying their best against these orc menace. There's no way she can. Fuck off, troll. So let's go ahead and cheer them on next oh, she's a lost one. The orcs survive. are too ferocious. <clears throat> she can dodge all she wants, it's going to overwhelm her. I, don't I will I truly be surprised oh, if she survives red. this one. Uh, please just live, miss. B be oh, careful! She goes. Don't forget to cheer on for her as well! She is, after all, doing this without any weapons. <sighs> Come on, miss! You've but got holy. this! Go for its eyes! Come on, little fingers. monk! Try and survive! <laughs> Fight like your life depends on because God knows it does! Oh, Secundus! Secundus! Let's go! Oh, Get some cheering going! Orcs, Bane! Orcs, Bane! It's picking up the corpse. Where the neck goes? There it is. Oh, it's eating the corpse. It's so close. Oh, oh God. Oh my, oh my God! She's feeding it a dagger. Is that a sword? That... <laughs> what? That was really smart. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> Did you see that? Stretch. Well done. Now they just have to worry you about the troll. Come on, monk. Come on, Secundus. We still got one more thing to be sorry about. Oh God. Please don't die. I think the anchor could do a lot of damage to the troll. Hopefully. Why did she touch its face like that? Gross. Oh. Ugh. Well, I, I guess that well, side of the arena is going to be drawing the weapons. Like that, it's going to bring down the stand. The of the troll. Oh they better God. not interfere with the fight. Don't get close to it. What are they doing? Interfering. You're going to make people lose money. <clears throat> say, what are those tiny teeth that's going to do to the Let's go. Come on. Scratch its back. Uh, oh, fuck. <laughs> Keep cheering and shouting, folks. Every slam down on the ground oh, quakes. <sighs> Did you all know that if you cheer for your favorite oh, gladiator, sometimes that helps the other team, Come on. but sometimes it helps your team as well. It gives them the boost in confidence to continue going. So continue boosting and boistering for your Come on, Dredge. fellow Orc Spain. Uh, just let this get over. Orc Spain! Orc Spain! He's really struggling. <clears throat> oh, he's really going through it. He said this was the second fight. My gods. I hope after this, Dredge could get a rest. The next fight is Dredge oh, versus Look, three kittens. <laughs> Not the kittens. <laughs> what? That's the next fight. Not the kittens. How big are these kittens? Like this big? Would you but, rather fight? With the experts. One hundred.